Hi, hi, hi. This is Pascal from Home Automator. And today we are going to do one of the last configuration and installation that we need to do for the future. We are going to install MQTT. Now, MQTT is a message broker. It takes a message from one device and passes it on to a, another device or multiple other devices. It will hold that message until such a time that it no longer needs it. So let's not wait and let's get into it. Here is Home Assistant, the screen that you would be used to if you were one of my subscribers. From here, let's go. Settings, add-on. Now you see that there is maybe more add-ons than my tutorials I've covered. Don't worry, those are coming as quickies. Okay, add-on store, and we are going to open Mosquito Broker. We are going to click install, and I will catch you once it's installed. A few moments later. And it is installed, and as usual, we're going to put on the watchdog. We can go to the configuration. There is nothing really that we need to do in the configuration at this point in time. So what we're going to do is back to info, hit start, and as usual, go to the log page. We are started. After that, we are going to go to settings, people, and there is only one person, but we are going to go to user, and we are going to create a new user. And that new user is going to be called H-A-M-Q-T-T. And that's his display name, and it's going to be his username as well. There we are. Password. I'm going to use password one with a capital P. Password one with a capital P. Oh, they do not match. Let me try that again. Password one with a capital P. Yes. We are going to set it that it can only log in from the local network. Just as a, another security measure, we're going to create it. And there we are. OK, so MQTT is now installed. And you're going to tell me, but Pascal, you're not going to be able to show you anything. That's quite right. I'm not going to be able to show you anything yet. What we are going to do now is we are going to go and fetch a little program and I will show you where to get it and how to install it. We are now in the browser and we are on the MQTT Explorer page at mqtt-explorer.com. I will leave a link down below and we are going to download it. It's relatively small. It is available for Windows, Mac, Ubuntu and Linux. Um, so I am going to download the installer. It's very small, so it's not going to take any time whatsoever. And now that it has finished, we are going to click open file. We are going to minimize this and we are going to wait that it starts. There we are. Installation has started. And there is your page for your MQTT Explorer. First things first, in my case, uh, the name is going to be Home Assistant MQTT, and it is MQTT, and the host is going to be 192.168.0.123. We don't need to validate any certificates whatsoever. And the username that we created earlier on is H-A-M-Q-T-T, all lowercase. So H-A-M-Q-T-T, -T. here we are. And the password, and I don't mind you, I don't mind you seeing it, is password1. Let's see if we are going to be able to connect. But first, we're going to save. And let's try to connect. And we've connected. Here we are, and this is just the broker telling us a few things. I am not going to go in depth about how the broker works at this point in time, but it is a fantastic de debug tool. 
and we are going to use it quite extensively in the future just to show you how things work with uh, ESP Home to MQTT as well as pulling out data from Home Assistant through MQTT to another device. Right then, we are going to leave it to that for today. I hope that you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that bell icon. It helps me, it helps the channel, we are growing. It's very important to me that we go forward. I will see you in the next tutorial.